Good day, citizens of the world, wherever you are, maybe nighttime, maybe afternoon time, maybe tea time, it may be breakfast time, but wherever you are, it's a great time. That's what time it is. Now, personally, as a world traveler, I have two time zones, daytime and nighttime. I always know what time it is. I look outside. If the sun's out, it's daytime. If the sun is not out, it's usually lifetime. Now, it's Saturday time, and people have kind of free time. And I'm going to challenge you this morning about how you can do a few things that will increase your time, increase your productivity on a Saturday. Unbelievable time. It's only 10 o'clock on the East Coast. It's... It is way earlier than that on the West Coast. Um, I think that there's uh, an, an, uh, literally a time for you to be with yourself today. That's a good time. Actually, sometimes that's a great time. I drove from uh, the beach in South Carolina to our home in North Carolina in Charlotte uh, the day before yesterday. And... I had three hours of me time. <clears throat> totally cool. Just hanging out. Now, let's talk about the cool things that are going to happen this morning. Yesterday, I had a bunch of people on from the United Kingdom, uh, the uh, coaches from all over the country from Action Coach, and they were amazing. I had a great time with them. They come on my live. And I think there's a lot of people will be on there this morning as well. We'll see. Um, I'm going to put it out to them that they should come every day, not just on the day of their holiday. So there's three things today that I'm going to focus on. Number one, I want you to read something cool. I'm reading today this book called The Motto Book by Albert Hubbard. And it's a catalog of all of his cool quotes that you could buy in those days in the in the 20s uh, for actually in the teens for 25 cents 15 cents 10 cents nothing there's not there's no dollar thing in here this is in 1920 now he passed away in 1917 so this is uh, produced after his death but it's all it's cool little sayings Life is too short to spend in chewing the rag, whatever that is. Life is just one damn thing after another. I, I just, I love, and they don't care if they miss pages. I love you because you love the things that I love. Imagination is sympathy illuminated by love and balustered by brains. Inasmuch as ye have done it unto the least of these, ye have done it unto me. It's a, it's a wise guy who does not monkey with his destiny. Whoa. And then I'm going to read this book by Leighton, Christian Leighton, The Great Within, because I want to know what... Uh, all genius is a result of a large subconscious mentality. Therefore, anyone can become a genius by awakening a larger and larger measure of the great within. That genius is asleep in the subconscious of every mind is literally true, but it's awakened this genius. Got it? So I'll be hanging out of my chair. So read something that is cool. Then once you have that cool in your head, write something that is cool. Something that your customers would consider valuable something that they might pass on to somebody else, making them a potential customer of yours. And something that's profound. I, you know, you can, it's, it's easy to write profound things after you've just read profound things. That's what I found. Don't copy it. Use it to spark your own thoughts. And then the third thing that I would like you to do is call someone cool. I have about four people on my list to call today 
they'll be surprised and happy that I called them. Isn't that cool? So your job is to make certain that you're cool. And it's not that difficult to do. But you do have to put yourself in a position where you are kind of guaranteeing yourself that you're going to do it. Make the list. Check it twice. Who's naughty? Who's nice? The secret of change is to focus all your energy not on fighting the old, but building the new Socrates. Lewis, good to see you this morning, bud. Cynthia, books are uniquely portable magic. Cynthia Mannion, first on the play, uh, first on, on the show today. And Eloy, my father gave me the greatest gift anyone could give another person. He believed in me. Jim Valvano, doesn't this just make your blood run cold? It's so good. It's so good. To acquire knowledge without study and labor is not education. It occupies, but does not enrich the mind. An often quoted expression is that knowledge is power, but so also are fantasism, despotism, and ambition. Knowledge of itself, unless wisely directed, might merely make bad men more dangerous. And the society in which it was regarded as the highest good little better than pandemonium. Whoa, dude, Samuel smiles is deep. The ability to see the funny side of things and laugh at ourselves and our troubles is an asset of the greatest magnitude. It can help, this is, so, come on. It can help us contend with adversity, derive greater joy of living and maintain our sanity. These six qualities help contribute the type of humor everyone needs. Flexibility, spontaneity, unconventionality, Shrewdness, playfulness, and humility. Earl Nightingale, what a legend. What a legend. Now, my shirt today says pleasantly offensive because I live in the South now. I was offensive when I lived in New Jersey and New York and Philadelphia on purpose. I was just offensive. Now, I try to be nice about it. I try. I give you friendly I give you friendly, then I give you jersey. So I give you two shots at it, and then I go back to my roots, kind of like you do. Kuna, what do you got to say? If you want something new, you have to stop doing something old. Peter Drucker, love that guy. I try to be first. You know, I'll try to be first. O'Neill, way to go, dude. The secret of change is to focus. Oh, cool. There's Lewis Lance again. Love Lewis Lance. You want to change your outcome, you need to change your beliefs. That's exactly right. That's cool. And Cleveland has checked in. So I'm so happy for that. Extremely good quality sound today. It's because I'm using my uh, my microphone. By the way, yesterday I'm doing this. Here's my little new microphone. I'm doing this seminar for all these guys in England. And my coffee spilled on the floor. Mm. Here, crash, your coffee mug goes down. I went on like nothing happened. Hustle with purpose until achievement is yours. Get him or Thomas. Good morning, sir. How are you? How are you? Morning from Pasadena, Texas. Three one things to get you ahead. Implement the three cools. Read something cool. Write something cool. Call someone who is cool. Great plan for Saturday. Isn't it? That's all you have to do. Then you can go do whatever your spouse tells you you got to do today. Because <laughs> there's a lot of that. There's a total lot of that. Morning rings. Morning, Nicole. And people are all over the country today. The United States seems to be very, very well represented. Jason, morning. Good Saturday. Desire. One essential to success is that your desire be an all-obsessing one. Your thoughts and aims be coordinated and your energy be concentrated and applied without let up. Claude Bristol. No rest for the wicked. The Philippines is here. Altoona, Iowa is here. 
Uh, I'm totally in love with all the people that come in from all over the world. Come on. This is so good. This is so good. Norm. <laughs> Funny. And good morning, Taru. Good evening, Taru. Good evening, Taru. Always good to be pleasantly offensive. I concur. In the supermarket, wherever it is. Wow, thanks for taking such a long time. I totally appreciate it. <laughs> you can have fun with language. You can have fun with language. You have to choose. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Luke, good guy, Luke. Um, <clears throat> Fort Lauderdale's here, Sorrentino's here. Just curious, what were the post-it notes on your mirror this morning? I have the same ones on my mirror until I achieve them. Um, there's, there's several. Maybe I'll take a picture of them one day and show it out. But it's all the things, those are all the things that I'm going to accomplish. Or I leave some on there that I have accomplished so I can look at the mirror in the morning and smile. Me, myself, and I, great time together. Exactly. Okay, the best time. Pleasantly effective. You got to love it. Exactly. I do love it. River Walk in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Bruce and Dan Diego. I think it's probably San Diego, but because the S is right next to the D. Whenever I can't read a word, I go to the keyboard and I look to the letters to the left and the right of it. That's usually where it is. Love the shirt. Spoken like a true offensive coordinator of life. Thank you, Mark. Dylan, what's up with you, bud? Exactly. Shared out. Thank you. I saw some guy wearing a, a sports jersey this morning. and I, I have a confession to make. I got some Krispy Kreme donuts this morning. They're like heroin. They're so, so good. You can't like not get them every once in a while just to treat yourself. So I got some for me. I got the little tea tiny ones for Gabrielle. She's got a buddy coming over today. We're going to have a great time. We're going to have a great time having a play day with Gabrielle and one of her friends. Happy. Yes, it's time. Yes, time. Finishing Truthful Living this weekend and then starting a little book of leadership. Jason, bueno. I would, to me, if you're finishing Truthful Living this week, go back and look at all the underlines and maybe write them into a document so you'll have what you consider the best of the best. And for me personally, before you start on the little book of leadership, I would reread Truthful Living. It's worth a reread. Just me. Be still and think. Good man. I'm reading The Third Door. I guess it's a book about uh, Monty Hale. You know what I'm talking about? Good morning, Lana. Lighthouses don't go running all over the island looking for boats to save. They stand in one place and they're shining. Boom. That's so good. Um one of my mentors, or my main mentor, the late, great Earl Portnoy. God, I miss him every day. Um, when I started doing business consulting around the country, I would call Earl and say, hey, I've, I'm in San Diego. I just made $5,000. I'm in Chicago. I just made $10,000. I'm in Portland. I just made another $5,000. Because I was traveling all over the country with the girls. The twins were four at the time. We went to every national park west of the Mississippi for one year. They're 48 now, so just know how long ago that was. But I'd say I made 10 grand here, five grand here, and Earl would go, wow, that's really good. You want to make a million? I go, sure. He goes, stand still. <clears throat> stand still. Still rings in my ears. Been in Charlotte for 33 years. Not leaving. Uh, so Bruce, reflect, recharge, renew, and commit yourself to being better next week. Agreed. <clears throat> Worked out early this morning. Worked on spirit, soul, and body today. Good man, Jason. Jason, when I announce the Charlotte get-together, we'll do it, okay? I think we should, we should do a, uh, 
like a Monday night meatloaf and mashed potatoes at Loopy's. If you're from Charlotte, if you'd like meatloaf and mashed potatoes, put a yes in there and it'll be either be this coming Monday or the Monday after that. Cool. Happy Saturday from Chicago. You reaffirmed my decision to launch my financial coach business. Thanks. My pleasure. My total pleasure. This is so good. This is so good. Yep. Kimball, why does Tiger Woods have a coach? It's because he's so close to himself, he can't really see what he's doing. If that guy needs a coach, then everyone needs a coach. This is brilliant. Uh, but that's true. And it's so true. I mean, it's like ridiculously true. I, I totally concur. I'm going to send this to the great James Vincent this morning. See what his butt's doing. There you go. Boom. I'm going to read the Dice Man. Cool. <clears throat> I don't think it's probably about Andrew Dice Clay, but you never know. What's it? What's it about, Cynthia? Some gambler. Saturday time with Moose and Squirrel. Oh, my God. For those of you who don't know, for those of you who don't know Rocky and his friends, reacquaint yourself. Go on to, go on to YouTube and watch a couple of episodes. UK. Rereading the section on Go Live on podcasts and some Samuel Smiles. Debbie, couldn't be any better than that, could it? I mean, it could not be any better than that. Samuel smiles and go live in the same sentence. What could be better? <clears throat> this is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to send this to old Zach over there at Wiley. This is so good. Yeah, exactly. Read, write, call. Yep. I, I'm telling you, it's gonna, it will work for you. I'm going to call some people that I haven't talked to in a while just to say hello. Just to say hello. What's better? Come on. An inconvenience is only an adventure, and wrong, uh, adventure wrongly considered. Cool. This is, come on, this is good. Hey, Phil. Wow, Phil, new picture. I love it. <clears throat> I love this. Thank you very much. Good morning, Jeffrey. How you do anything is how you do everything. I agree. I totally agree. And Joe Williams, a book arrived, uh, an Albert Einstein book, courtesy of Joe Williams. I don't have it here to hold up. Perhaps I'll do it on tomorrow. But I'm so grateful for your friendship, Joe. Good guy. Shared it out there. Coach Phil, he's rocking with a brand new picture. The lessons of history. Oh, cool. This is good. This is so good. Keith, why do we tiptoe cautiously on eggshells to make it safely to, the, to death? I have no idea. I crush eggshells. And I want to make sure that you are out there willing to crush them as well, because that's where the growth is. That's totally where the growth is. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Every single life only becomes great when the individual sets upon a goal. Yep. I'm fast becoming a fan. Keep it up, Eddie. Good. Well, I'm glad of that. Morning from Texas. Tim. Hi, bud. There's a tiny mirror for looking backwards and a big windshield for looking forward for a reason. I agree. Tim, great guy, great guy, thinker, smart guy. Dude, nice to see you. Hope we get to play together this year. <clears throat> Change the way you look at things 
and the things you look at change. Michael Mahalko and Benton took a moment to hop over from Clubhouse to say happy Saturday, 959ers. Wow, Justin is like the, the, the Clubhouse dude. Proud of you, Justin, for doing what you do. Go, go. This is so, so good. Yeah, Jason, Krispy Kreme is amazing. It's it's addictive. It's like the people that are in there are like, <sighs> and the donuts are going around a little. Get the hot ones. A bomb approaches a man walking in the street. I don't want to hand out. Oh, a bum, maybe, huh? I'm just here to make a friend. They shake hands, introduce themselves. The bomb walks around the block, and meet the guy again. You got any spare change for an old friend? Oh, my God. Oh, that's funny. <clears throat> that's funny. Sell or Die podcast. Crazy amazing. Yeah, I agree. Me and Jen do them. They're, they're unbelievable. Wait till you see what we got coming up as a guest. Krispy Kreme? Do not worry. Be happy. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, my God. All right. So I'm going to let you guys go back to work and some White Castle sliders. Oh, my God. Cynthia Mannion, once you hand your life over, roll of the dice, anything can happen. Oh, cool. The Kamika microphone is great for the price. I agree. I totally agree. It really sounds good, too, doesn't it? Having a coach give you perpetual coherence. Wow. The law a prop proplu, pro pollution. Why wait around to attract stuff? I, I'll save it. The law of perpetual coherence. Good law. I mean, everybody wants to be coherent, don't they? I think they do anyway. Not really 100% sure, but you never know. I think this is uh, part of the deal here. Not 100% positive, but I'm going to send it anyway. <clears throat> I like it. I, I totally like it. Who's the second best salesperson on the internet? Obviously, you're number one. I don't know. I think my 11-year-old daughter. I'm pretty sure it's my 11-year-old daughter. <laughs> she could sell me anything. I mean, anything. Isn't Krispy Kreme like a cool place? Yeah, the jellies. I got it. I got a raspberry one too. I can't. I have to admit it. I, I have to admit it. Harvey McKay has a coach for everything. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Send that to him. I love Harvey McKay. He's been like a dad to me for so long. So, so long. I just, you have friends that you treasure. He's going to be one of the people I call today. <sighs> so, guys, I'm going to see you manana. I'm going to uh, make sure that you are doing the best you possibly can for yourself. I want to make sure that you're healthy today. The three cools, read something cool, write something cool, call someone cool will hopefully put you into that brand new zone. We're going to end with the Harvey McKay quote today. That'll be the one up on the, I guess, the one that Facebook posted. I'm not really sure how they do it. But in the meantime, boom, be healthy.